Hello everyone and thank you for coming to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48's World and I am your girl Deb Chanel. And we are welcoming everybody over here to come into the house and share some dialogue, communicate with one another and just drop down our piece on subject matter. Okay, not on me, not on you, but on subject matter. Okay. Just be respectful in the comment section and we'll have a lovely, lovely time every time we come and get together on my channel. Okay. Other than that, peace and blessings and happy uh, new year and all that good jazz. I'll probably be wishing it throughout the whole year. Forget just January. Just happy new year throughout the whole year. February on down to December. Okay. Because we need it in our lives each and every day. We need that motivation. We need that go get a spirit and we need to be kind enough to everybody that we meet on these streets okay but anyway or we interact with i should say but thank you thank you thank you for all of my subscribers all my new subscribers all my subscribers just thinking and, and shaking and, and, and fretting on whether they want to come over here and greet me every time i come and drop out a video well i'm saying come on over anyway whether you subscribe or not it's just all good okay but you know i like it when you subscribe and you share my videos and like my videos as well but we're going to get into this particular article that was written up by a correspondent uh, um independent contractor over there at urban bell mag.com magazine or blogger site I don't know if she really works for them or like I said, she's an independent contractor writing up stories for them. But either way, she wrote out a scandalous story, slanderous somewhat, but scandalous more so uh, on Dr. Simone. And we're referring to Dr. Hevelin telling us that she believes Dr. Simone is not faithful or loyal to her uh, colleagues on the show Married to Medicine. Now, of course, I did do a video earlier talking about Dr. Jackie felt that uh, Dr. Simone breaks the girl code. But in this video, we're going to hear from Dr. Hevelin where she says Dr. Simone is the worst person, the worst violator of breaking girl code. Okay? So, the first time I brought it out, they said, um, well, hell, both of them, Dr. Jackie and Dr. S uh, Heavenly are saying Dr. Simone is the worst one. So, I don't know if they teaming up on poor Dr. Simone or not. Because, you know, Dr. Simone got her little infractions, too, where she go in and let her have. But she does it on her own. She don't need no uh, people behind her back or behind her pushing up. You know, like three people jumping on one person. Nah, she could, they don't really do that. Small not like that. She going to handle her business herself. I kind of like that and identify with that as well. But I don't like this Dr. Jackie and Dr. Heavenly trying to come for Simone. So I'm like, hey, let her fight one-on-one. -on -one. And if she knock all of y'all down, that's fine. But we ain't going to be uh, jumping nobody. Okay, but anyway, Dr. Heavenly is bringing her peace to us and saying that Dr. Simone ain't loyal. She ain't loyal to herself either. Okay, let's get on into the story. Um, The person who wrote the story was none other than, what is her name? Let me see. Let me go back because it's two pages to her story, but very short. And I have a little audio for you all to listen to as well towards the end of the video. But again, we got Amanda Anderson Niles bringing out this story for us. Uh, compliments of UrbanBellMag.com magazine. And it's titled Merit to Medicine Star. Dr. Heavenly says Dr. Simone isn't loyal to anyone. Not herself, not her family. Uh, well, to herself probably, but not to no one else, okay? And that's not in her article about her family, friends, and foes. I just put that in myself because she said not anyone, so I'm just going with it on what she said, okay? All right, then. It's all allegedly over here. We ain't getting it from the horse's mouth, but in a sense, people taking stories, putting it together, and we making one big to do about nothing, but we all just breaking our opinions down. But let's get on into her article story. She said... Marriage and Medicine star Dr. Simone Whitmore apparently has had an eventful reunion. According to the preview, she confirmed falling out with Dr. Jackie Waters. She also had some explosive moments with Dr. Heavenly Climes. Or Climes. Simone is angry about some of the things Heavenly has said about her and Cecil Whitmore. So it's probably no surprise that Heavenly was critical of Simone in an interview with Bravo. So, okay, this Bravo interview is coming and everybody's weighing in on what was said. All right. In fact, Heavenly said that Simone isn't loyal to anyone. Heavenly believes Simone should have her back after Mariah accuses Damien Kimes of cheating on Heavenly. Okay. Now, 
in my last interview Simone said if she says she got the goods, she got the goods. But, I mean, it's pretty much, you could say that about anyone saying they got information. They just want it to be exposed. They want to see what you say you got. Because if a person said they got it, I'm going to believe it too until time presents itself and it doesn't come out to fruition. Then we're going to be like, hmm, you lied. Okay, all right, all right. We see how we're going to treat you in the future going forward. All right. That's how I look at things. So, it's not too unrealistic to think when somebody said they got some on you they got some on you because we'd be waiting for the proof in the pudding if you don't have it then you know it's just like okay you out there looking foul you out there looking stupid and nobody's gonna trust you again or they're gonna definitely be looking at you sideways until it comes to fruition you know what i'm saying because one infraction uh meaning how big or how small would dictate whether a person be in your corner or not it's all about character it's about all about how you handle yourself out there okay but that was my pun intended not in this article going back to the article it says looks like dr jackie waters isn't the only one questioning her friendship with Dr. Simone Whitmore. Now, Dr. Heavenly Kimes is doing the same. Well, of course, Dr. Heavenly would, okay? If it ain't in the midst of she just going straight head and forward on supporting Jackie, then ain't too much uh, nobody in the circle of uh, Merit to Medicine that she's going to uphold and, and, and uh, take on any battles that they may have, you know? It's just how Dr. Heavenly is. She's only writing for Dr. Jackie, and that's about it, and herself on the show. The rest of them can pretty much do uh, go straight to H-E-W double hockey sticks. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, going back to the article, not in her article, just my sidebar. Uh, Bravo recently asked the women to name the person who is the worst when it comes to the following the girl code. Heavenly said Simone and she questioned Simone's loyalty. Heavenly said, I think the person that's most guilty of violating the girl code is probably Dr. Simone. She's not loyal to anyone. Okay. For example, if you know somebody's lying on your good friend and you add into that lie. Okay, you got receipts on my husband and then Simone will say, hey, if she says she got receipts, then she got them. When we all know Mariah's a liar and she lied on Simone. Now, just just put my two spins in it. We don't know if Mariah lies all the time. So in, in the midst of all her lies, there may be some truth some there, somewhere down there. Now, it just is what it is. Now, will she go as far as saying that she know your husband cheated? I don't know because you as a woman should know and probably do know in your gut of guts that your husband is cheating or not. It's not for us to tell or say. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, then going back to the article, it says, Heavenly then added, So what kind of friend are you if you can't h hold up the truth? The truth is truth. The truth could be very subjective and objective. Okay, it's just whoever's telling it. And if they're telling the best lie that they probably could, the lie can become the truth if you can get a lot of people defending you up, upholding you in that lie. Trust me, I know all about it, okay? So you can say that, and I can say it too. <laughs> Dr. the heavenly, because that's what I be thinking about you sometimes. Just what you explained in that video, or that clip of that video. But let's listen to some audio and see what they're going to be trying to spill as people are trying to chime in on this loyalty <laughs> thing. Hold on. It's in my pocketbook. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, not in here. No, in let the me think because we all have violated. Let me just say that. <laughs> this season, Jackie, the new Jackie. Let me say the new Jackie. The, the old Jackie. <laughs> what do you think she did this season? She didn't give the opportunity for, for balance throughout the season. And she just kind of got to a place where she wasn't really hearing some of the other ladies' cries scenarios and they really needed that old Jackie to you know step in and say I'm sorry you know give him a hug. Now she told me don't bring her name up but she's a dentist. I love her dearly. She's very outspoken and she may kill me by the time this trip is over. I think the person that's most guilty of violating the girl code is probably Simone, Dr. Simone. She's not loyal to anyone. For example, if you know somebody's lying on your good friend and you add into the lie, like, okay, you got receipts on my husband, and then Simone will say, hey, if she say she got him, she got him. When we all know Mariah's a liar, and she lied on Simone. So 
what kind of friend are you if you can't, you know what I mean? Just holding up the truth. That's the girl code. What a 420. I love having you know, The person that violates girl code with me is, is Dr. Jackie. Because she always talks and preaches about girl code, but she doesn't hold herself accountable at all. So for me, Jackie is the one that really violates. And people don't really see her. She does things in a very subliminal way. We all have violated. Let me just say that, myself included. Okay. But I would say the person who does it the most is Malaya. Between her and Heavenly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what did I say? Did I say Malaya? Right? I thought I said her name. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, those are some shady women right there. But I think Quad pretty much brought it home when she was saying um, Malaya, but she meant to say Mariah. But you know, we know what Quad meant to say. Okay, but uh, she says Mariah and Doctor Heavenly. Doctor Heavenly says, um, shoot, I forgot what Doctor Heavenly. I mean, I'm Doctor. But well, y'all might figure that one out. But uh, I'm pretty much she, um, Doctor. Jackie said that Simone was, and Heavenly said Simone, of course. And, of course, I'm, I'm guessing Simone will be saying Dr. Heavenly. It's just back and forth, but the name that keeps ringing up is um, Dr. Simone. But, like I said, I don't agree. I really feel it's Dr. Heavenly. She's always in the folks business, and she always shading every last character or colleague up there in there i mean she may sound something a little shady about jackie but it's more so uh jackie is uh wait a minute hold on it's more so jackie dr heavenly shades jackie through curtis and curtis's infidelity period that he went through with cheating with that other woman she ain't gonna never let that go she ain't gonna never let dr jackie uh forget what curtis i mean cecil did wait a minute no curtis i always see he's going around here but curtis cecil is simone's husband okay and curtis is jackie's husband so if she has to shade If she has to shade Jackie in any way, it will more so be through her husband, Curtis, okay? Because she ain't really got anything too much foul to say about Dr. Jackie. Because Jackie is really a businesswoman until she gets on this show. And then she act like she get amnesia one bit when she don't want to really uh, be put in the hot seat. Or she will up someone else and talk about someone else behind the scenes or in confessionals or whatever. And I pretty much think she do that in her real life too. Instead of her addressing each issue on her own merits. And just hopefully the women will be respectful for however she feels about a certain person or a certain issue. You know, it, it has to be her cross the bear. But I don't see Jackie just putting her foot down as she would probably do. With her patience and saying, okay, this, this, this is happening with you. Uh, I know your activities or how you got this way. But if you don't change it, you're going to be this, that, and the third. We don't want that to happen. So I'm pleading. I am begging with you. I am coming strictly talking to you from a professional standpoint. If you don't do this, you're going to be looking at this. You know, I think she's just real cut and dry when it comes to her professional business, when it comes to her patience, because she wants the well-being of her patients to be good total health. Uh, now, when it comes to her friends and uh, definitely trying to make them understand certain situations and for them to have true unity and true girl power uh, amongst the women of the group and adding on additionally if they feel so or they feel fit to do so in their little circle in the Merit to Medicine little congregation or whatever, um, she falls flat on that because it's more like... It's neither here nor there. I do it for more money. I do it for more resources. Uh, it's just the ends to a means. It helps me out financially. But I'm just giving the people a little of me. And half of it's probably scripted. So they're not really actually getting to know the real, real me. So it's almost like these reality shows have become a little part of just acting. But, you know, unless they distinguish it and say it, you're just taking it at, fa at 
<laughs> at face value that okay we got a little bit of this reality and we got a little bit of them scripted scenes out there in reality tv world okay but none of them are actually saying uh, off camera when you meet them or you get a chance to be in their presence and they allow you to be there without anybody checking you out frisking you or you know the entourage just totally dissing you if you get a chance to meet them you know they can probably tell you from their own words that you know this stuff is really you know uh we have to make up a lot some of us tell it like it is they live their life just like you see them on screen and some of them you know we just act for the camera we give them what we think is going to be salacious to keep you all as viewers of the show to keep coming back but my personality is really different from what you really see you know see they don't really tell you all that and see if a person came to me like that you know and told me that or if i was on the show and i was telling people i would be, be honest i'd be like hey i gotta give y'all drama so don't act like this that and the third okay because to anybody they come crazy they're gonna get it i may embellish a little bit but it just is what it is everybody know the formats of this show and and I would do something similar to that because you'll never know. It'll be kind of spontaneous when I do act up on you. But it's almost like it's a hidden knowledge that, you know, I may pop off on you on any time. So, you know, walk the straight line if you want to. Or you can get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it just is what it is. Like I said, you have to take it for what they show us on any reality TV show you look at. And you decide to, you know, build a platform where you have others to be invited in to, you know, get your take on certain uh, shows and how you reviewed it or how you recapped on your perspective only. And then, you know, you just might be doing it like in, in your home and talking with family members that may look at the same show. And y'all giving y'all honest opinion of what, you know, uh, you depicted from what you just saw. And you breaking it down in layman's terms. So, you know, it's no initial banter going back and forth because they're listening to your expression you know you're verbally getting to voice it out you know with whoever you may be looking at the show and they may say you know you just being biased you just like them you die hard this that and that and then they may see truly where you're coming from because they know you and they know you're not saying it from a bad place or a mischievous place or an angry place you're just like okay i know how this person really live their life and they just really giving their opinions on what they really see and you know this that and the third so it's good to dialogue and it's good to have different opinions because you don't want no, no yes person all the time because you may be feeling you're doing the wrong thing but you think okay i'm around some real good people that know me and if they see me popping off like this all the time they're they're gonna come in a good spirit and a good heart and say girl what's wrong with you you know this that and the third you ain't this you ain't that you know and i can like confirm or deny what they're saying is true because they're talking about me all right mm -hmm. so um uh, sometimes my objectivity can come from you know several different places but i try to be very mm -hmm. firm and and reasonable and reason a little bit more when i'm trying to do my uh my commentary or ever really when i'm addressing anybody on any form whether it's in my professional life or it's in my personal life i try to give you what i can give you because i don't like going back talking about stuff all over again and you know i'm like listen very close and listen very well now from this that and third this is what i see this is what i feel now later on it may change if the situation change or the environment change but if not then i'm going to pretty much stay in firm belief of what i believe but uh you know, like I said, these reality TV stars, they don't necessarily give us enough to go on to even build a bridge to try to truly understand them. So we're given as viewers of content or what they do give us. We just make our opinions and express our viewpoints on what we're given, not the totality of that total person. At least I'm not. OK, but anyway, um, y'all get down in the comments and tell me what y'all thought about this. Do y'all really think that it's spot on that Simone is just not loyal to anybody? Or is it Dr. Helen not loyal to anybody? Or is it Dr. Jackie? OK, those are the three people that pretty much are in question of violating girl code. So I gave y'all my, my opinion. So y'all tell me what y'all feel. And we'll just go from there. Other than that, have a happy Sunday. And if you haven't subscribed to my um youtube channel please don't hesitate but to do so and catch me for the real housewives of atlanta as well as merit to medicines review on today um eastern standard time starting at eight o'clock hopefully they'll show them i think they're going to show merit to medicine because we're on part three of the reunion show and yeah we should be seeing um 
um, Real Housewives of Atlanta as well. Don't know if I'll get those out today for you. Hopefully I will. If not, you'll get them on Monday. And that's just as good. Yes, it is. Because, you know, they come. They, what they missing? see? If I would watch um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, 8, then 9. Okay, I might can get one of them out. I couldn't tell you which one I'll do, but... Um, it just is what it is. And then y'all get the other one on Monday. God willing, you might get them both on Monday. Just depending on how I feel. All right. But y'all have a great afternoon. Sunday afternoon. Be relaxed. Be released. And relate to your family. Okay. Because those of us that have to hit that clock tomorrow. God willing, we going to be there. Smiling bright and early. Like uh, little bears, bushy tails. <laughs> bright eye and blushy tail okay but uh y'all be blessed and i'll see y'all next video okay bye bye